Hello guys, so I'd like us to look at how to uh, solve this question. If sine A is equal to five over 13 and cos B is equal to four over five, where A and B are acute angles, um, hmm, determine cos of A minus B cot over two B. So we know very well that uh, if we are having a right angled triangle, and let's say this is our A, then using Sokatoa, then sine. So let's say sine of A. Sine of A is given by opposite of hypotenuse and our sine is five over 13. So this is opposite over hypotenuse. So our opposite will be five and our hypotenuse is 13. And using the Pythagoras theorem, we can be able to get the value of the adjacent side. So we'll have 13 squared minus five squared square root to give us the value of the adjacent side. So basically that's going to be 169 minus 25, 144. And the square root of 144 will be 12. Now, that's it for A. Now drawing another triangle to represent uh, angle B. So let's have a right triangle triangle and let's have this as our B. Then uh, we have cos B, cos B expressed as four over five. And from Sokatoa, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse where our adjacent is four, hypotenuse is five. So getting the opposite will be five squared minus four squared square root using the Pythagoras theorem. So that will give us 25 minus 16, which will give nine, the square root of nine. So we'll have this as a three. Now, coming to the expression, we have cos A minus B. Cos A minus B, using compound angles to open that up, cos A minus B is the same as cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. Now we already have an expression for sine A and cos B. But using these triangles, you can still get the expression for sine B. So what is our sine B? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite here, we got it to be three over hypotenuse five. And what is our cos A? So cos A is equal to cos is adjacent of hypotenuse. So the adjacent is 12, hypotenuse is 13. So coming to replace these values here, we're going to have cos A, which is 12 over 13, multiplied by cos B, which is four over five, plus sine A, sine A, which is five over 13, multiplied by sine B, which is three over five. So we can multiply this two and get our value there. Now, for the next part to get cot 2B, Cot 2B. Now, recall cot is the same as 1 over tan 2B. And what is tan 2 theta? Now, the expression for tan 2 theta, so you can be able to rewrite this as 1 over the expression for tan 2B. If you check from the SMP, you'll have 1 minus. tan, so you'll have one minus. Now from the SMP, uh, we know that tan two theta is equal to two tan theta over one minus tan squared theta. So we are going to use this identity here to replace tan two B. So one over two tan b all this divided by one minus tan squared b now this translates to one divide by the whole of this system as multiplying by the reciprocal so i'll have one minus tan squared b all this divided by two tan b but we know that tan is the same as sine of a course so we can be able to express this as one minus 
sine squared b over cos squared b, all this divided by two sine b over cos b. Now we already have uh, what sine b and cos b is. Sine b is three over five and cos b, cos b is four over five. So three over five, four over five. So this is um, one minus sine b uh, is three over five. So three over five squared, three over five squared. And all this is divided by four over five squared over two sine b is three over five divided by four over five. So if we evaluate this, we get our answers.